Hi, my name is Lynette Shelley. In my last video, I was showing you uh, some behind the scenes of this piece here called Jangala. And um, some people were asking, how, they wanted to see how the final product turned out. So, this is my artwork. It is on um, pastel board, which is made by ampersand, and it basically has a rough tooth. So it's very good for picking up colors from pastels, whether oil or soft pastels. Um, also, colored pencils are good with it, as well as acrylics. And so for most of the piece, I use oil pastels. And you can see here are some examples. Usually, the cheaper brands that you get usually have more wax in them. They're a little stiffer. The more expensive brands usually have more oil to them, and they blend a lot better. Um, and so I use this for most of the pick piece. Also, sometimes if it's cold out, you might need to warm up the oil pastel. You can hold it in your hands for a little bit because they can get a little stiff with the cold. Um, I also used colored pencils. Uh, my very favorite brand to use are these woodless colored pencils. Um, they're made by Progresso, um, also known as Koinor, and they're all pigment. There's no wood in them at all, and they, they, they're very vibrant, so I can't recommend them enough. I use them to do a little bit of the, like the detail work in the piece because sometimes the oil pastels are a bit too thick. Um, and also sometimes I'll put a layer of colored pencils down first and then put oil pastel on top of that to kind of get a neat effect with the texture. But you can see that in the background of the piece where I did a darker layer of blue and then went over it with a lighter oil pastel color. And then being oil pastels, you will need to fix the artwork when you're done because otherwise you'll get a mess everywhere. So you want to do a couple sprays with a fixative, um, do a layer, let it dry, do another layer, and it uh, should be good to go. And then I also like to incorporate some gel medium. If I'm going to be doing showing the piece un uh, in a frame but without glass, I like to put some gel medium on top over that as a kind of a glaze. Uh, you can get matte medium or glossy. I usually go for glossy. And that kind of deepens the colors and makes, gives a kind of a shiny varnish effect. And it completely protects the painting. You can, I could put, wipe this down with a washcloth right now and nothing would happen to it. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoy my piece. Please visit me at www.lynetteshelly.com.